Hey there, I'm Sean C. Davis, and I got a quick tip for you today. I want to show you how to delete full words in both Terminal and iTerm2. That can really save a ton of time, so you're not just holding down the delete key for days to get a, a, rid of a whole line, but you can chop words one at a time. So right now, if I misspelled something like in both, I've got Terminal on the left, iTerm2 on the right. If I want to, I misspelled push in git push, and I, I want to do, say, option delete and chop the word off, it doesn't, it doesn't work. So I, I have to enable it, and, and we'll see that here in iTerm2, same issue. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my preferences in terminal. Now, I would show you that through the menu, but I'm going to also tell you, super, super quick tip, uh, Command comma. If you don't use it, always command comma to open preferences. It's it's almost universal. Any Mac application is going to open its preferences pane with command comma. So that's what I'm going to do here. Now I'm in terminal. I'm going to this uh, profiles tab at the top, and then the sub tab here is keyboard, and I'm going to click use option as meta key, and then that'll be good there. And now option delete and boom, can delete a whole word at a time, magical. All right, let's do the same thing over here in iTerm2. And it's actually, it's it's pretty similar. Uh, command comma, preferences pane looks a little bit different. I'm going to come over to profiles and then to keys. And uh, what we want here is you could use meta. Uh, the recommendation is that we do escape plus and you could do it for both right option and left option. Sure, I tend to only use the left option, but we'll just do it for both. Get rid of that. And now option delete. Boom. Look at that. That was amazing. So use that. Enable whichever uh, whichever application is your preference. Enable that, and you can move a little bit faster. Hope this was of good use to you, and I will see you next time.